you didn't want to stop being an artist. Like, yeah. just the industry really kind of put everything on hold for you. Especially in being independent was not popular. It wasn't as lucrative as it is. No. There was no such thing as, as any streaming uh, lanes. There was no YouTube. None of that existed. I remember um, when I went on my hiatus, there was only MySpace. Yeah. And yeah. I remember being in a Walmart and someone was like, oh, I love complicated. I'm like, how did you hear it? <laughs> it was like, um, YouTube, Amazon. I'm like, what is that? Oh. <laughs> I had not, like, it was very, very new. And it wasn't when I was actually still active. Yeah. So now that all these streaming things are, uh, it definitely makes more sense to say or be an independent artist. But I won't say it makes more sense because if you got a situation with a label and now that artists are becoming more aware of owning their masters and a lot of other information we've been learning over the years about protecting our creative content, you can work out a deal with a major or a situation where it's not burying you in the end is that what you're doing i don't know what i'm doing I, at the moment i'm independent however comma if there was a situation to present itself and as i just stated i'm able to work in certain things like i don't believe i would ever give it get in a situation where i would give up ownership of my music ever again my first two albums i don't own any of that music yes i'm a songwriter on those projects but i don't own those masters they belong to Jive Records, which don't even exist anymore. Now it's Universal and so, I don't know. It's a merger. So that is a sad thing for me. I know one day I will, but that would, you know, probably benefit my children, <laughs> but I would never do that again. So the way to go is definitely independent these days for the most part.